First here at 6 o'clock, a Green Country man is facing up to life in prison after pleading guilty to driving drunk, running a red light, and crashing into a car, killing two elderly women. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. Patrick Firm was charged with manslaughter and DUI after the deadly crash in Broken Arrow in January. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter was in court today and talked with the victim's family afterward. Reagan. Craig and Tatum, 75-year-old Margie Cowles and 80-year-old Gloria Voss were heading home from work together when Patrick Firm slammed into them. Gloria's family tells me the two women were best friends, and today was the first step toward getting justice for them. Gloria was very special. She was really smart. Uh, she was a people person. She had her moments where she was really quiet, but she was uh, <laughs> tech smart. Gloria Voss's family says it's been a tough last 10 months after losing Gloria. And they say Thanksgiving just wasn't the same this year because Gloria was such a good cook. But they packed the courtroom today to see justice for Gloria and her friend Margie. She was just reliable and kind, and she had a very unique voice. I wish people could have heard her voice. She was just a sweetheart and a great cook. Broken Arrow police arrested Patrick Firm in January after police say he ran a red light and crashed into Margie and Gloria's car, killing them both. The arrest report says paramedics smelled alcohol on Firm, and Firm told paramedics he drank some but said he didn't know what it was. They were best friends. They were absolute best friends, and they passed away together the same car. Firm pled guilty without a deal from prosecutors, so it will be up to the judge to determine his sentence. It seemed that Mr. Firm was uh, remorseful. He did seem like he was, he felt really bad for what happened. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he just made a really bad decision. Gloria's family says they just want a fair sentence. I will say I hate to see um, just probation. I think that would be unfair for the family and for, for and Gloria. The firm is set to be sentenced in January. He's facing four years to life in prison for each count of manslaughter. Live in downtown Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.